Oh yeah! Welcome back guys, it's Tauntaun777 for another episode of Tea Time. I know it sounds a bit British, I know, just, just, just a little bit British, but uh, I think it's a cool name, so we'll, we'll live with it for right now. Anyways, that's not what we're here for. Um, I have gone up in the world, guys, I know, it's it's amazing. I Back in the past, I had a flip phone Motorola Razor, and I've had that for about oh, five years, I think, yeah, I don't know. Before that, I had a little uh, swivel phone called the Juke from Verizon. Loved that thing to death. And I've, I've always had a flip phone, you know, some I can't text on. Never had texting. Uh, so at age 20, now I have texting. That's beautiful. I know. It, it's, uh, it's really just amazing. So I've graduated from a Motorola Razor to a iPhone 4. So my father talked to one of his brothers and uh, was able to get that from them and uh, so now I have not only a phone that can be textable or whatnot it's a smartphone and that's kind of a whole new concept to me you know having both my iPod and my phone put together but uh, I think it'll be interesting to have that because it, it gets rid of two devices and makes it into one uh, it'll be nice to have that option but you know I'm hoping that with this new texting capability people will respond to me faster so far that hasn't been the case. They take the exact amount of time as if I was calling them. So... I don't know. I mean, it's cheap and whatnot. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, I'm with Cricket. Cricket Wireless. It's a pretty cheap plan. I got the basic one right now. It's unlimited call, text, and 2.5 gigabytes of data for 35 bucks a month. So... And that's with no taxes or whatnot included. And the phone came from my uncle, so I just got to pay about a hundred bucks to my father who paid for the phone and uh, whatnot. So in all total, it's 135 to kick it off. Where can you go to spend just 135 to start a new plan and get a new phone? I don't know. I really don't know. But then again, mine's an old iPhone 4, which is new to me because, you know, I had an old Motorola Razor phone. So that's kind of what I just want to tell you guys about is that this whole new iPhone thing. Uh, it does have the Skype app on it, so I am able to get the uh, uh, Skype responses on there now. But uh, I have to be within Wi-Fi. I have to either use my data or have some Wi-Fi in the area in order for me to even pick those up. And even then, even then, sometimes it doesn't want to alert me and say, Oh yeah, by the way, this guy wanted to talk to you. And I have to be like, jerk. So, it, it's, it's, uh, it's a work in progress. You know, it's hard to... Excuse me, guys. Something to, you know, work through. But I, it could be fun. It could be fun. It'll definitely be a lot more helpful in the long run. Because some people won't answer the phone because, you know, they don't got the time. But if they see a text, oh my lord. We got all the time in the world. And I, I'm guilty of that. There's some times where people are calling me. It's like, you know, I can't really respond. You know, it's like I'm in the middle of something. If you just want a yes or no answer, I can type you yes or no or K. K. I know. I learned that, that's okay. I'm learning new texting lingos too. So, uh, it's, it's it's a new world. Opens my eyes to something new, and just to see a new plane of reality, in a sense. Um, but uh, that that's essentially all I wanted to say in this episode of Tea Time, is kind of just update you guys on that iPhone stuff, and uh, things like that. So, I think that's just pretty, you know, going from a flip phone to a smartphone. It's like a 30-year difference in technology or something like that. It's something close. It's close, guys. You know you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So, guys, until next time, this is Tauntaun777, and I am out!